so our next property is commutative property in commutative property you know that the order of multiplication is independent for example if i say that if i multiply a with b then the answer of a multiply b should be equal to the answer of b multiplied by a this is a common commutative property and if i apply this commutative property in case of operators then i can say that the order of apl application of the operator is independent since these operators are independent of the order of application so i can say that these operators are commutative operators so secondly if i subtract b a from a b the answer should be equal to zero so i can write this as if uh, okay so this a b minus b a is called commutator expression okay this a b minus b a is called commutator commutator expression and is represented by a dot b okay so my commutator expression says that a dot b are two operators that commute with each other so i have two operators a b that are being applied on f of x here and if i subtract a b f of x from if i subtract b into a f of x from a into b f of x okay i have to subtract b into a f of x or from a into b f of x okay here a is applied first and here b is applied first okay so if i subtract both of these the answer should be equal to 0 since these operators commute with each other these two operators are commutative operators and the answer of a b into f of x and b a into f of x is same okay i will explain this later by an example so if i take an example where i take a is equal to if i take operator a to be equal to d over d of x derivative and if i take b to be equal to d square over dx square and if i take my function f of x to be equal to sine of x okay so now i have to apply first of all uh, i will prove from a to b okay so how can i uh, how can i do this take a dot b into f of x so what does it mean it means that first of all i have to apply b and then i will apply a so in this case i can write as a b f of x here so the next thing i am going to put in the value so a has a value d over dx whereas b has a value d square over dx square and f of x has a value sine of x okay so now i'm going to solve it first of all i will open the derivative here since they are two derivatives so on opening i can write it as d over dx d over dx sine of x okay so if i take derivative of sine of x the derivative of sine of x is cos of x so applying this derivative here i have an answer equal to cos of x okay so now i have to take a derivative of cos x the derivative of cos x is minus sin x so i get an answer equal to minus sin x since minus 1 is a constant so minus 1 will go out and the derivative will applied will be applied on sin of x so applying the derivative on sin of x i get an answer equal to cos x okay minus 1 multiplied by cos x and the answer comes out to be minus cos x okay so this was the answer if b is applied first then and a is applied later okay so now i will change the order of the multiplication okay now i will apply first of all i will write the equation a b into f of x so in this case i am going to change the order of application of the operators okay in this case first of all i will apply a on f of x and then i will apply b okay writing the values the b had a value what was the value of p the value of b was d uh, d square over dx square so plugging in the value d square over dx square and in place of a i'll write the value d over dx and f of x i have sin of x okay so i have just plugged in these value so the next thing is first of all i'm going to take the derivative of sin of x the derivative of uh, first of all i'll break it d of dx d over d of x okay and the first uh, the de derivative of sin of x will be equal to cos x okay so the derivative of cos x will be equal to minus sin x 
I get a derivative of minus sin minus sin x okay the minus it will go outside minus 1 d over dx sin x the derivative of sin x again is cos x so I get an answer minus 1 into cos x and I can write it as minus cos x okay so this was if my b was applied later and a was applied first okay this answer came when I applied a first and then I applied b later and what was the answer when b was applied first here in case the b was applied first but a was applied later here in this case the a was applied first and b was applied later since the answer in both the cases is the same here minus cos x here also minus cos x so I can say that both of these are commutative operators a and b are commutative operators okay in cases uh, for example I can say that sometimes the answer does not commute the answer does not become equal to each other such operators are called non commutative operators okay in non commutative operators non commutative operators a b f of x is not equal to b a f of x okay this in, in the case where a b f of x is not equal to b a f of x this case is the uh, case in which operators do not commute with each other and the property is the non commutative property so to explain this i'll take an example so taking the example i have operator a equal to x and operator b equal to d over dx and i have a function f of x equal to x square okay so first of all i'll similarly write it as a b f of x so first of all i will apply b and then i will apply a okay so a will go outside the bracket b comes inside the bracket the answer for i will plug in the values in place of a i'll have to write x and in place of b i have to write d over dx d over dx and in place of f of x i have to write x square as you know that the derivative of x square is 2x1 we are going to find we are going to use the formula xn if i have derivative of d uh, x xn then the derivative of x or xn uh, comes out to be equal to the power go goes behind and one is expected from the power this is the formula okay this is the formula that i am going to use here so using the formula here we can say that the derivatives comes out to be the power the n power will come behind so the 2 here will come behind 2x and i have to subtract 1 from the power so 2 minus 1 equals 1 okay so x here when multiplied by this the answer comes out to be 2x square okay so now if I change the order of the operators let's just say that B is applied later and A is applied first so in this case what happens first of all in place of B I have to write D over DX then comes the bracket and in place of A I have to write X in place of F of X I have to write X square so the uh, so the uh, multiplication of X with X square my answer comes out to be equal to X cube derivative of x cube what is the derivative of x cube we will use the same formula here okay x and the power will go behind here the power is 3 the power will go behind x and i have to subtract 1 from the power on subtracting 1 from the power i get an answer equal to 2 so the answer comes out to be equal to 3x square whereas the answer was 2x square okay in case when b was applied first the answer was 2x square and in case when a was applied first and b was applied later the answer comes out to be 3x square since the answer is not same so i can say that these operators are non commutative operators okay so this was all about the uh, algebra of the operators inshallah see you in the next video do not forget to like and subscribe